Center, fresh back from Ireland camp. Can you just give me some insight as to what that experience was like and uh, what you gleaned from it, you know, what you're bringing back into the Leinster camp now from having that level of international experience and training with guys from the four provinces? Yeah, yeah, it was great. Uh, I was so excited to go in. It was like my first proper like time of being included in the squad. I went in once when I was a young lad, just when they bring in kind of when you're young to go in and train. Um, but yeah, it was a great experience going to train with all them lads. Uh, obviously, a lot of Lens lads are in there already, so I knew a good few lads, and I played kind of like sevens with like the likes of like Rob Wallachin and stuff. So I knew I got a good few of the players in there. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of excited now to get back and play, and I kind of want to just try and perform at a good level now for Lens, so I get picked for the next squad. Yeah, I'm sure there's there's lots of players at your level who are all eager to get their crack at international level playing for Ireland. How much more of, of an incentive is it now for you to go out and really play well for every minute you can uh, with Leinster to, to get back into Ireland camp and how much of an inspiration is that for you? Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, I always, my dream is to play for Ireland and just even got that small taste for last week. I just want to get back in there. So uh, yeah, it's definitely kind of give me another like kind of kick on to try and like hopefully play consistently at a very top level so that I get back into the squad. And just finally for me, um, you're going to have a lot of competition because we're, we're really blessed in the position of wing. Matt Canson is now in the mix. Uh, James Lowe is back. So what's what's uh, what's the the feeling for you? Is it like get in and kind of like just bed in, or no? I want to take the jersey off someone else like Matt Canson has proved. Uh, there's potential to do right now. Um, to be honest, I just want to focus on myself and like I kind of I I can't remember telling me, but like you can obviously be like oh I'm not playing as well as them, but you're only kind of playing as good as you kind of up against yourself. And I just want to keep getting better, and then hopefully that's good enough to play. Uh, and whatever position they pick me, but well, like I'd be happy to play. It's a great fair play to Jimmy. Cheers, Joe. Might jump in if Ashling is on pause there. Yeah, fire away there, Michael. Oops, no. Um, hi, Jamie, how are you? Michael in RTE here. Hi, hey, Michael, how are you doing? Good. Um, I mean, another way Andy Farrell talks about not wanting tidy wingers and wants people to get involved more. Do you see that as a, a part of your game you can strengthen? Um, would you like to work on that? You, you've kind of seen what he wants. And do you have to go for that or do you just have to be yourself and, and give, him some, give him a different view? Um, well, I'd say I kind of do play like that a little bit because like wing would probably be my third position now. <laughs> like on the depth chart, it'd probably be 15, 13, then wing is probably the most or the one I've played the least of. So I kind of do end up coming in off my wing and trying to play like that because I remember at the end of last season, I played a couple on the left wing and I kind of felt like I was kind of lost a bit and I talked to Felipe about it and he was like, just play how you normally play. It's like, yeah, you're not just like boxed into being a winger because I was kind of trying to... I was trying to look at wingers, but do what they do, but it's not, it doesn't come too naturally to me. So he was kind of like, no, just play where you normally play, even though you're playing left wing. So hopefully that suits how they want to play in Ireland. But yeah, I think that's how I'll play it anyway. What was the, what was the crack like in the camp? I mean, in, uh, there's obviously some protocols still there around, but is there much downtime and the fun and games when you switch off? What was happening around that area of it? Yeah, yeah, there definitely is. Like, it's a, a very tight knit squad, and everyone gets on, and they kind of try and promote like having a bit of crack and stuff like that in the evenings, and they kind of run like a few like games and stuff like that, and a few competition things in, with all the squad and stuff to just kind of get everyone to gel. So yeah, it was good crack. Uh, yeah, everyone was very very sound in there. Very good. What competitions do you play? There's darts and pool and. Ah, oh, there's yeah, there's darts, pool, and like that, like. Some uh, lads were doing like a putting competition. Uh, you had to spin around uh, a dizzy putting competition there one of the nights, like just to get everyone in and a bit of, bit of energy going. Yeah, so it was good crack. Did you win that one? No, I didn't get picked because I'm a lefty and they only had a right handed putter, so like I had to take myself out. <laughs> Very good. Um, just on the match yesterday, did you go to see it and what did you make of it? A very funny game from, from where we were, just the way it played out. but. Uh, what, what did you make of it, and what do you think of that rule in the first place as well? Uh, no, I didn't get I didn't get to go to. It. I was watching it at home, but yeah, it was a strange a strange one. Like I, I didn't know the rule at all, to be honest. Uh, but um, yeah, it kind of I'm not really sure. It kind of made the game a bit kind of like it was like inevitable. Then at that stage, like thirteen players, it's impossible to play with like for that long. 
Um, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, like it was a it was a good like obviously a great win for the lads and they put up a good score and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was a strange route to be honest. I didn't know about it at all beforehand. What's the what's your plan for the week to get ready for Treviso? Where do you um, what's your do you have a personal goal for the match as well, or is it is it most important that the team win and get to get five points? Uh, it definitely most important about the team and just kind of getting back in and like obviously I was only gone for weeks, so I'm still kind of like I knew all the things that they were trying to work on and stuff and then over this block, so it's just kind of get back into that and refocus on this weekend. Yeah. Thanks. Best of luck, Jimmy. Yeah. Cheers, Michael. Hi, Jimmy Ashton here from Off Ball. How are you? Hi, right, Ashton. Yeah, not too bad. Thanks. Good. I just was wondering, in terms of intensity from Leinster rugby going into international level, how would you describe it? Um, did you really notice it was a big jump when you first went in? Uh, yeah, it was a bit of a jump. It wasn't a huge one. Like there is, it's very hot. It's very like the training sessions are very full on, like very uh, high intensity, and you have to know all your stuff. Uh, that was probably the biggest thing. I had to go in and like learn all the new plays, learn all the new moves, and it was just kind of getting that thinking. You just kind of have to think a bit quicker when you're in there because everyone is so athletic. Everyone kind of knows their stuff. So that was kind of the biggest thing was you have to try and think a bit quicker. And when you went in there, you were probably speaking to a lot of the more experienced lads that have been in there for quite a long time. Did you get any good advice? Uh, yeah, no, I'd, I'd be no a few of them. Then they were just like just be yourself, like go in and do your do what you've been doing like don't try and do anything different so that was good yeah and I know we already mentioned just about the Italy game but some of these laws do you think that they're fit for purpose uh yeah I'm not too sure um to be honest I, I it was pretty harsh the way like they got docked obviously two players for the one thing and an injury so that doesn't seem fair to me on the from the outside but I kind of understand where the law came from uh, I'm sure there'll be a, a big talking point now uh, with World Rugby now after that game the way it came about but uh, yeah I'm not too sure to be honest that's great Jimmy thanks so much no problem uh, Jerry Curry if you have a question for Jimmy there yeah uh, hi Jimmy Jerry Curry here from the Dublin City FM uh, hi just um I just wonder, uh, in terms of um, playing on the wing, you, you know, you, you, you've said your uh, uh, probably favourite position is full back, then you play in the centre, and when you're playing on the wing, um, oh, I think it's is, it, is it tougher to sort of slot in there, you know, having played at full back? In the, or can you take things from those positions to use as a winger? That's my question. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I kind of get what you're coming at. You dare, yeah. I would definitely take things like from full back, even like positionally in the backfield and stuff. Like let's say I'm playing on the wing, and but and Hugo's playing full back or something. Like I kind of know where he'd be thinking I should be because if I was full back, I know where what I know where I want my winger to be, and things like that. So it definitely does help. I think playing the multiple positions and like let's say I'm on the wing, I know where the thirteen kind of wants me because I play thirteen so much. If you get me, uh, so yeah, I think it definitely helps. Like playing the couple of positions. Okay, and um, just one about uh, it was uh, Saint Benetton uh, on Saturday, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're start uh, below mid table now, and obviously they won the um, the Pro 14 last year. So, uh, like, do you expect much of competition from them? Yeah, definitely. I don't think we were, had a meeting this morning. We were talking about that. We've never gone over there and had an easy game, and they've beat us in the ODS. I think it was two years ago or last year. Uh, they're always a very tough game, very physical side. So. It's, yeah, it's going to be a very hard game, especially away from home. Uh, they usually get their wins at home and stuff, so yeah, we're expecting a very tough side.